Alrighty, what is good everyone? Man, it's good to be back. And just in case you've not read the title to this video, you're now watching WoW Classic Paladin Gold Farming Outdoors Edition Episode 1. Now, of course, what I mean by that is simply back not only recording my well-received gold farming guides, but also just recording videos again in general, you know. It's been a while for sure. As you guys know, I've split up some of the Let's Play episodes into multiple parts and slowly spread them out and recorded them in advance. The reason for that was basically just to take a break from it and enjoy the game really. Of course, it's not like I've disappeared like some people do, since you know, my videos have still been coming out every three days or so, just like usual. But it gave me some well needed time to relax and enjoy the game and not worry or stress about having a video ready for you all. Which, speaking of, and on to the next point, but also the topic of this video. I've managed to level my mining skill from 100 to about 275, which means that I can now farm the rich thorium veins. And if you didn't know, then you can get lucky with these as they have a chance to contain the arcane crystals, which do sell for a lot of gold. Currently on my server at the time of recording this, which was the second week after Blackwing Glare released, there are about 50 gold or more per crystal. So before we do jump into this guide, let me just give you all a cheeky gear inspection slash update, since a lot of the items have been replaced now. Judgment Cran, Choker of the Fire Lord, Lawbringer Shoulders, Saffron Drape, Demon Forge Breastplate, Gallant's Wrist Guard, Flurry Axe, Skull Flame Shield, The Force of Will, Uther's Strength, Nagel Ring, Heavy Dark Iron Ring, Judgment Boots, Judgment Legs, Judgment Belt, and Judgment Gloves, okay? Uh, so obviously as for my talents, I've still got the same 31 points in Holy, 13 points in Protection, and seven points in retribution. Although with regards to my spec, as some of you guys may have seen on the Project Paladin Discord, there is actually a uh, an alternative spec that I would potentially use over this one, okay? Uh, the main reason for this was more, more uh, focused on PVP than anything really with me obviously being on a PVP server. Um, but now that I'm more into the gold farming scene, like, I'm pretty sure I'd rather have these alternative specs than what I'm actually using now, which could drastically improve the overall performance. I mean, you know, potentially specifically changing improved seal of righteousness with um, spiritual focus. I mean, that can be extremely handy, obviously. If you switch over to consecration or that's basically a 100% chance to not get any kickback when you cast in your holy light spell, which means that if you do need to heal yourself and you know you can't bubble or anything you can do that and uh, hopefully survive a little bit better um it's the same for the um the last in judgment as well i might consider changing that for unyielding faith which is a uh, additional 10 percent chance to reduce fear or disorientating effects uh, which could again be really good for uh, mass aoe pulling because obviously as you know sometimes you can get stunned or something so you know, just having that little extra edginess about it might go a long way. Um, there's also a few other things as well that I may like to change up in the uh, in the protection tree. That would be reducing my uh, precision uh, talents for the uh, anticipation one. Because obviously, as you guys know, with improved defense, you actually get more of a chance to parry. Now, what happens with a parry is, as far as I'm aware, so don't hold me to this. This is just what I've read online. It's basically... Uh, when you do parry an attack, you instantly strike back with your melee weapon. Uh, so obviously, you know, say if it's like half a second into your flurry axe, uh, taking another swing and you, you happen to parry, obviously that will reset the timer. So instead of it being like a second and a half, it could only be like, you know, less than a second for your next swing, which is really good actually, because obviously with Seal of Light, you're gonna get even more heals from it. Uh, again, guys, this is just completely theory. I don't know if it's gonna work out better or not, uh, but you know, it's good to think that it potentially would. Uh, so again, like I say, you know, I would like to look into that and sort of, you know, just, just see if it works or not. I'm presuming it would, and uh, most of the time when I do guess things like this, they typically do turn out all right. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, this is my gear. Obviously, you know, I've now got the uh, the five set in the uh, judgment set, which is absolutely amazing because that means an extra 41 damage and healing on top of what I've already got. There's only two more items that I really need to get now, um, and obviously it is the uh, judgment set. 
I mean, I would be partial to getting the epic PvP set, but as you can see, I'm only rank five at the minute, and uh, I'm casually, you know, casually grinding my way up slowly. But it, it's taking too long, um, and to be honest, I ain't really got time to do it because uh, there is a, a min max uh, way that I would like to do things. Um, I'm not going to go too deep deep into that today, obviously, because we're not talking about that. But yeah, basically, combining the epic PvP set with the judgment set is the the best for this thing. Um, so yeah guys, the two items that I need now is the uh, the Judgment Shoulders as well as the Wrists, which I'm hoping to get in the next couple of weeks from now because, you know, when I, when I get this, then I'm pretty much done then. I'm ready to go, okay? Uh, so what I mean by that is basically I'm ready to go back to some of these older dungeons, uh, some of these older gold farms and just, you know, try out being in the best gear that you can possibly get for this type of thing. Uh, yeah, sure, I know that there's, there might be a couple of upgrades that I can get, you know. Maybe I could replace that with something else. Uh, but again, that's not until the later phases, like phase 5, I think it is. Where uh, I think it's the quest reward from the uh, bronze dragonfly or something. Uh, it's to do with AQ anyway. There's actually a really good ring that could replace that. Uh, but other than that, you know, there's, there's nothing really that I need that can, you know, make this better really. I mean, obviously, I've got the enchants and stuff. Uh, but I've mentioned that before anyway, so, you know, we don't really need to go into that. So, yeah, guys, that's my gear as of the second week of Blackwing Glare, okay? Um, also, as you know, I've got the Essence of Pure Flame as well, which, again, it's an extra 13 damage to all of the attackers. You know, adding this in with Consecration, of course, if your survivability is okay, you know, this could be a viable option just to increase your DPS overall a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, guys, this is basically it. Let's get back into the video, shall we? So this gold farm will vary in gold made per hour. The main factors are the time of day and the current competition in the area. Meaning that if you farm at like 4am and it's dead in the zone, then you'll earn way more than say if it was 7pm where there's about a million people doing the same thing. So specifically, this gold farm can range anywhere from 60 gold per hour all the way up to 200 gold per hour if you get lucky. So what is this saucy gold farm you may wonder well if you've seen an older video of mine where i show some useful items from ongoro then you'll have a good idea of what i'm about to say next yep we're actually farming the yellow power crystals but wait roly hold up hold up hold up these power crystals from there are worthless why would you tell us to go farm them well actually if you hold your horses young man you'll realize that yes the crystals most of the time are worthless, except for the yellow ones. Just look at the prices here. As you can see, they go for a hefty price. Currently, at the time of recording on my server, they're between 2 and 4 gold each. But keep in mind guys, this gold farm will vary from server to server. And also, it's likely people will wise up to this and flood the market, so take it with a pinch of salt. So how do we do this? Well. Simply run around Ungoro and pick up the yellow crystals that you can find. But be warned that these are the rarest of the four crystals that you find in here, which means that if you do have competition, then it can be slim pickings. Also note, if you're on a PvP server, there is potential risk of death. You have been warned. So anyways, as you can see, for me casually leveling up my mining skill here in Ongoro, I was able to passively collect this many from about an hour's worth of farming spent here. And yes, I know it says over 3 hours, but that's my total session time. Before that, I was in the Hinterlands and then Tenaris leveling up my mining skill. Which is interestingly where this idea came from. I knew the price was high anyway, but I didn't realise that by casually mining that I could find so many. And taking a look at this, Here's another hour spent here where I finally reached the level of 270 find mining skill. But keep in mind that this is bringing us to the point of competition as mentioned earlier. I had a lot of people doing the same thing as it was later on in the evening. It was actually around 9pm server time. So you can see that it does make quite a big difference. So going from around 50 crystals per hour to only around 20. But even still... Let's say you can get 125 gold from the crystals, about 10 gold from the mining and around 20 gold from the lucky drops because you may need to kill some if they attack you 
whilst you gather the items like I did here twice with the traveler bag and the blue item, then that is a solid 150 gold per hour, providing you do this at a time where competition is very low. So is it viable? Hell yes. Anyway guys, this is WoW Classic Paladin Gold Farming at Adora Edition, Episode 1. If you've enjoyed today's video and are looking forward to the next gold farming guys, then be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I release the next video. Also, if you did enjoy today's video, then be sure to hit that like button and let me know in the comment section below what you thought to it. And if you got some helpful tips or ideas, then be sure to share this with your friends too. You never know, they might enjoy the video as well. So until the next time, see ya.